Hi, I'm Nick Curtis. I'm the CEO of Lenzar. I'd like to thank the organizers, Dr. Bill Link and Bill Trattler and OIS for inviting Lenzar to present today. It's an honor to be participating in this forum. Here's Lenzar's disclosure regarding forward-looking statements during this presentation. As we all know, cataract surgery is the highest volume surgical procedure worldwide, with an estimated 29 million performed in 2019. However, the vast majority of these procedures are performed manually as a phaco emulsification procedure, while only 3% of all cataract procedures are performed using femtosecond laser technology. And while there are several reasons for this, not the least of which is that there are a lot of lasers in the market that have not evolved much beyond their initial launch features. I believe that we're going to see a significant increase in the number of flax cases performed in the U.S. in the coming months and years. Why is this? because we're in the perfect storm. First, next generation lasers like Lenzar are helping surgeons deliver better outcomes and we have a growing body of data in support of this. Second, surgeons are experiencing continued declines in Medicare reimbursement for cataract surgery. Third, COVID has negatively affected cataract patients who wear glasses due to fogging of their lenses. However, patients may now be more receptive to pay for elective procedures, realizing they can be less dependent on their glasses. And fourth, COVID is driving surgeons and their staff to operate with far more efficiencies than ever before. And in fact, we're starting to see this in Europe. MarketScope recently completed a survey of ophthalmic practices and femtosecond laser assisted cataract surgery is predicted to outpace and perform favorably in comparison to the premium IOL category. Interestingly, MarketScope has also recognized that Lenzar users on average perform nearly twice as many procedures as those surgeons using competitive technology. Why? Because Lensar has these unique features that used in combination are better for patients as they ensure better outcomes and better for surgeons as they provide significant additional revenue and efficiencies to the practice. A vast majority of these features are only available on the Lensar laser and are at the foundation of our technology today and will be at the core foundation of our technology in the future. Because it is the culmination of all these features that with our surgeons are driving better outcomes and are at the heart of the reason our lasers are used to treat more patients than the first generation competitive lasers prevalent in the marketplace today. As is evident and reported in the latest peer review article written by Drs. Chen and Zhang from Zaiman University in Fujian, China, that demonstrated statistically better astigmatic outcomes than manual marking. Additional studies have also demonstrated similar outcomes, specifically that Lensar surgeons laser cataract patients are consistently less than or equal to one half diopter of their targeted refractive outcome. Our technology is also lens agnostic, as demonstrated in that each of these studies used a different IOL, including Alcon's Torque in the upper left, J&J's extended depth of focus lens in the upper right, and Bausch and Lohm's Torque lenses in the lower left. The lower right utilizes the same features with corneal incisions to manage the astigmatism. As you can see, regardless of the lens, post-operative results using Lensar were well into the mid 90th percentile. Truly cataract surgery delivering LASIK-like results. With our next generation ally, we'll take innovation to a whole nother level and change the paradigm in cataract surgery treatment. Lensar is currently integrated with five preoperative devices and is working with Carl Zeiss to integrate the preoperative data from their IOL Master 700 to the Lensar laser. This would enable integration with nearly 90% of all preoperative biometry worldwide, further confirming that Lensar with Streamline continues to be the market leader with proven technology, including iris registration and other unique anatomical markers sent to the Lensar laser, eliminating the need to manually transpose measurements or mark the eye allowing Lensar to automatically compensate for cyclo rotation. This has been a unique feature to Lensar and has been clinically demonstrated to help surgeons achieve better astigmatic outcomes and will be core feature technology on Ally. Lensar's proprietary imaging is why Ally will no longer deliver a standard femtosecond laser assisted cataract procedure, but rather optimize the entire cataract treatment. Lensar's imaging technology with augmented reality scans and images all the details of the lens to automatically identify cataract grade and density, the lens nucleus location and layers, 
thus enabling a tissue-specific treatment. Customized fragmentation patterns and energy settings according to surgeon preferences based on optimized surgical technique. The optimized FACO mode works in tandem through an understanding of the integrated imaging data from the density grading to preset vacuum and flow settings, recommended tip selection, optimized surgeon preferences, and FACO configuration to maximize chamber stability, followability, and lenticular removal. A key objective of the Ally Customized Cataract Removal is to significantly increase treatment efficiencies and safety in decreasing the overall energy in the cataract procedure based on the patient's specific cataract characteristics. The Ally will simply be the best of both cataract removal worlds, integrated into a small, compact cataract treatment system, ideal in sites that are interested in looking for a replacement of either their current femtosecond laser or their phaco emulsification device. The small footprint will allow it to be placed in any operating room or in-office surgical suite. The ally will seamlessly switch from femtosecond to phaco emulsification in seconds and enables the phaco to be pre-primed and the patient prepped prior to the procedure. Bifurcating the procedure would allow us to put the incisions, capsulotomy, custom density imaging, and phaco emulsification to become part of the standard cataract procedure. While in teleaxis refractive capsulorexis, iris registration and streamlined features will be available as a refractive procedure and an additional charge to manage astigmatic and all other premium IOL refractive outcomes. Allies expected to also cost less than current femtosecond laser systems. Lenzar has rapidly moved into the operating room to study workflow and user experience, preparing us for our outside United States user preference testing and plans to build 10 Ally systems in 2021. Cutting procedure times in half, Ally has significantly faster imaging and fragmentation, including a dual pulse laser, which enables precise, easy to open corneal incisions. In closing, Ally will revolutionize the femtosecond lasers market, changing the paradigm for cataract surgery treatment. We look forward to partnering with you in this continued evolution. Thank you for listening today. A topic that everyone here likes and to a certain degree, I know, in fact, loves for many of us, is femto cataract surgery. So laser cataract surgery, it's been pretty game changing for my practice. Um, and I know, I don't know, Rob, you want to start because I know Lens are presented and they shared their, their, their vision of what's happening next. Yeah, um, it's pretty exciting. I've, I've been fortunate enough to play around with some of the prototype um, FACO machine that's going to be in the uh, built into the femtosecond laser. Kathy has as well. And we were really impressed with how it performed. Um, this FACO platform by a company called Artly out of Switzerland. It's actually a very, very solid company that has a, a lot of surgeons using their technology for FACO in, um, in Europe. Uh, especially in Western Europe. And I think they're number two behind Alcom. But anyways, it's a very nice machine and uh, very great flow and, and fluid dynamics and uh, type emulsification tools like we're used to. But the concept of having it all built together with a femto unit is pretty exciting. And um, I've been working with Lenzar a little bit, helping them and giving them feedback the best I can on it. There's some really interesting features about it. One is, is that it's like uh, the imaging is done immediately by eight cameras all at once. So the imaging takes like literally a second or two, still with the shine Kung imaging. And it's all done sterilely. So the patient will come into the operating room. It'll be one box that looks like a, uh, a FACO machine, maybe a little bigger, but it has a laser arm that comes out. The patient's already ready when you come to the room, prepped and draped. And the laser arm comes out, you dock sterilely, do the laser treatment about a minute, goes up out of the way, they hand you the instruments, which is all part of the same machine. So probably come in one pack with the suction ring and the tubing and disposable stuff and be ready to go. So I think that like all the time right now, I don't know about you guys, I know some of you use Femto and you're kind of moving patients from the Femto room and having staff and moving them down the hallway and then into the other room or some people have to put them on a separate bed depending on what machine you have. All that kind of goes away. So um, I don't know. I think it's 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 time. You know, I think our our space needs innovation in the space. That these machines have been around for a while, and I'm I'm proud of Lenzar for for stepping it up and and continuing to innovate. Absolutely. Um, additional comments. Who wants to jump in next? Uh, I was just going to say that I 
I was happy to have the opportunity also to use the technology and it is a very small uh, package for a lot of functionality and really powerful machine. And I think so, another thing that's interesting about integrating the Femto with FACO is that you can really customize based on what you find out during the femtosecond analysis, uh, what the FACO parameters will be. So you can automate a lot of what your decision making is going to be to optimize all the functionality for what you find out is the situation for that particular patient. And you could also theoretically jump back and forth between doing, you know, maybe it's a small pupil, you could enlarge it, you have the femto right there. So I just, I'm really excited about that kind of integration. I think that's going to be great. Absolutely. And that's a great comment. Uh, Bill, do you want to jump in next? Or? Sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've been so impressed with Nick Curtis and his team at Lenzar. I look back over the past nine or 10 years that Femto has been in cataracts and a lot of the original companies have very similar machines that to what they launched nine or 10 years ago. And, and Lenzar machine has innovated that space every year or two. They've got a new upgrade and uh, they've constantly pushed you know, th that space and the innovation. And then now to see a machine that's coming out, you know, with a, a combination Femto and FACO is very cool. And, um, you know, I can see, you know, like, like Kathy and Rob said that, you know, just having those two, two, uh, you know, technologies in one platform will really help, um, you know, the early machine. I've also used that and it's, uh, a great tool. It's, it's, it's so, you know, sort of, streamlined, you know, relatively, you know, you know, small package. When you look at it, you're thinking like, how, how, how can we get so much power out of such a small package? But it is truly amazing. So they've done a great job. And to marry that with a Femto platform, uh, it's going to be very exciting. Absolutely. Rosa, any thoughts on, on this? It doesn't have to be just about Lenzar, if there's another technology you're working with, but the Femto space, you know, whatever you feel. Well, I, I've been sure. waiting for this. I've been saying that a combined FACO, somebody finally listened, thank goodness, okay, because, <laughs> because I agree with Rob, taking a patient in one room, and, and at our center, we have five ORs, one is, was Femto dedicated um, for Femto surgery, and then you have to wheel them into your room, which takes time, but it also is the fact that you have to book your cases, depending on if other people are doing cases as well, so there could be three more cataract rooms going at the same time as you are going. Um, so we have a large center that, that produces a large volume of cataract surgeries. Plus just moving the patient in and out, it takes, it takes time. And so I've said the way we're gonna sell Femto is really in a combined box where everything is together. And it's nice to see it finally here and to hear from my colleagues. Like it's nice to see that you guys have had it in your hands and that the, I was always worried that the FACO part may not match what we're used to. So it's nice to hear that it does have the, the capacity of other current FACO technologies available on the market. And when I was reading into the presentations, um, I really liked the fact that it had iris recognition for centering of the lens and how it adapts to the iris recognition, which I think is much better than vessel recognition, because once you put in all your drops, you may get rid of some vessels or the conge may shift a little bit when you dock. And so I think it's really great that it has the iris recognition too. It really makes me much more comfortable for AKs and knowing that I'm doing them in the right place or for marks. Sometimes I just make some marks for my torque alignments with my femto laser. And so um, I think it's a very interesting technology and I'm hoping to see not only Lenzar develop this, but other companies also develop a combined system is what I'd like to see. Well, those are great comments. Uh, yeah, obviously we love innovation from all the companies. Uh, you know, obviously Lenzar is presenting today. Um, I will share that um, and I'm super excited. I think that you know everyone shared some of the thoughts why it's going to be helpful. Um, I love Kathy's concept that we all have patients that we wish we could do femto on. They either have a dense cataract or it's a astigmatism correcting lens, and we'd love to get those marks. And, and the and the lens are has this way to put these capsular marks for guidance that makes you know put place in the intraocular lens, the torque intraocular lens, right on axis, really easy. And no matter what's going on, so to be able to maybe put a myelogen ring in and then come back and do the femto. If it's all sterile, this this could be really exciting. So, Kathy, great you know, great great comments from everybody, and I think it's pretty exciting this technology.